Hey, welcome back to Whiskey Thief TV. You got the general here. Um, look, I know there's a bunch of doom and gloom going on out there. And depending on where you are in the world, you might be locked down in isolation. So what better way to spend isolation than drinking whiskey, right? I mean, that's what I would do. Oh, that's what I am doing. Anyway, um, so tonight we wanted to bring some segments. Uh, the baker, Joey, and myself, we're all doing a separate segment. Each segment is really... Uh, all about our own signature drink. Tonight, I'm bringing you the old fashioned. Now I change up kind of the standard old fashioned because I infuse my glass before I drink it. And what does that do? It really brings flavors, this dynamic taste that just blows your mouth away when you start drinking it. It changes the whole, your palate, it changes the dynamic of the flavors in the whiskey, really brings it out. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So I've already started to, uh, what, well, first and foremost, let me grab my torch. So you say infuse. What does that mean? Well, it means I'm going to smoke the glass. And I'm using a piece of cherry wood here. And you can use cherry. You can use alder. You can use walnut, uh, oak. There, it, it's, it's endless, right? So it's up to your, your taste and change it up. Variation is a beautiful thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist this and I'm going to light it so it gets a little bit of a frog going. And then I'm going to cup it. So now when I do that, I let it sit for a good minute, minute, two minutes. I mean, there's, there's no reason to rush this process, as a lot of people do. Now, a lot of people, um, they either put it in a canister and smoke the actual drink that's in there, but I feel like it loses the flavor because it's lost on the cup itself, on the outer ring, rather than the inner. So you're actually not able to taste really what the, the wood brings to the whiskey. So I have a glass already smoked, and I'm going to start my drink. So what I do is I use these brown sugar cubes, and I'm going to drop two of those in there. And then... I'm going to actually start a little chemical reaction here. I'm going to take some sparkling water. You can use soda water. Uh, I use sparkling water and just give it enough just to start that fizz. Once that thing is starting to break down the sugar cubes, I go and grab my bitters. Now, I use two different types of bitters. I use uh, aromatic and I use orange. Uh, really light on the aromatic because I want to make sure that the aromatics don't, does not overtake the overall taste of my um, old fashioned. So I just do two drops, one, two. Then I go to my orange bitters, and I like orange bitters, so this is kind of preference of taste, but I usually do about five shakes of the orange bitters. So now that I got those in there, my muddler, I'm gonna muddle this thing, and I'm gonna really get into it, and I wanna turn it into almost like a paste-like uh, like substance. So I'm going to get in there and start to crush, and you can see it's breaking down with that uh, sparkling water. Now I can really get in there. And I can smell those wood fumes coming up from this glass. It's, it's amazing. And once I get everything and really get that amount going, have it right where I Now it's time for the whiskey. So I'm going to use one of my all-time favorites, Woodenville uh, whiskey. It's a straight cut bourbon. Um, this guy is actually, they are out of um, Woodenville, Washington. So just northeast of Seattle. Beautiful place. If you ever get a chance to go there, I highly recommend you stopping by this distillery. So I'm a heavy pourer. We're going to go two ounces on this. Um, so, one, two, then as that is sitting there, this right there, I am now going to go in there and just really agitate this. There's no reason to rush an old fashioned. So we do that, so 
looking good. Now I'm going to grab my lock cue, set that in there, and then I'm going to stir again. So what this does, it actually releases some of the, the ice, it reduces it down, just dilutes it enough to really break through some of those harder front end whiskey uh, heat. Then I grab my Luxaro Maraschini cherries, compliments of the baker. in there ever so softly. I'm going to give it another couple stirs. That is looking almost perfect. And the final touch. It's all about the peel. Now I like to go a little bit deeper on my cut. Really get the, uh, the scent and the taste of the orange. Again, I said earlier, I I'm, have a soft heart for the orange bitters. And same with the orange. I really think it brings out the flavors. So I'm going to go and I'm going to twist and I'm going to get that orange, you saw it, almost the juice just going in there. I'm going to run it like that. The presentation. And there you have, which I am actually, I think I'm going to call it the isolation old fashioned. Making my own signature drink tonight. So cheers, thank you. And I want to give you a big cheers to Thurston Howe, who is one of the icons that brought me to the old fashioned. If anyone you know, looks that up. He always had an old fashioned in his hand, so he is he has always been my drinking buddy for many years. Anyway, thank you. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.